Hi and welcome to this new video and in this video we're going to look at the race analysis functionality that was added to Velostrone in the most recent update. I'm just going to go through how it works, what the various icons represent and how you can analyse a race and see how you've done against your competitors in Nemesis mode. So the first thing to point out is that I have run a race here I've beaten all of the nemesis in that particular race and because this blue icon is on display here that means that I do have a best time on the board and this icon here is for my last run race and then these other icons here are for the other nemesis players in the race so if you click one of these you see the race line for that particular player across one lap and you can do that for any of the nemesis quads that you're flying against so if you just want a race line and you're trying to beat someone and you want to and they're faster than you and you want to look at the line that they're running then you can just turn on their line in nemesis or you can load them as an individual pilot and turn on their line in nemesis and you can see the line that they're flying which may or may not be faster than your particular line you can also turn on your line for your last race that you ran and you can also if this icon is active turn on the line for your fastest time on this particular track and you can have both your line and your fastest line on at the same time as well now you'll notice that as soon as you turn on one of these lines you get an analyze button which will allow you to analyze um, your particular run so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to analyze my last run and my fastest time currently on the board so I turn on those two lines and then I click analyze and when I do that I get put into race analysis mode now at this point I have a slider here and this represents the beginning of the race to the end of the race so this slider basically runs from beginning of race to end of race and then there are some other controls here so these so whilst this slider represents the whole race and you can drag this arrow and the quads will move on the race lines you can also use these little arrows here to move uh, one frame at a time when I say one frame it's one recording point because when you're running a race we record a frame at about every tenth of a second so you can basically advance at one tenth of a second and you can see the camera will just track as you're doing that and you can also go back one frame at a time until you're back on the start grid you notice here that there is a smoothing option now what this does is it tries to smooth the movement of the quads so if you were to play the whole race from beginning to end it would try to make that look as smooth as possible so that you don't get too much jerkiness as the quad is moving along because we've only got a recording point as you can see here every tenth of a second so if it played that back without smoothing it would be a little bit jerky whereas if you turn smoothing on what it tries to do is interpolate where the quad would be between those points as it's playing it back so that you get a smoother playback. The downside to having smoothing on is that if you're dragging this slider backwards and forwards then it's trying to interpolate all the time and the quads can move a little bit funny because it's trying to interplay as you're moving the slider around. So it's a good idea if you're moving this slider backwards and forwards quite a bit or looking at a particular obstacle on the track turn smoothing off while you do that because smoothing is, um, and I can I can demonstrate this really if I if I move this you can see that it's kind of jerky as I'm moving this slider backwards and forwards because it's trying to work out what I'm doing and interpolate between them and you can see that it's having some problems with doing that whereas if I turn smoothing off I can move and it doesn't have any issues trying to work out where the quads are as you can see but the difference is that if I play back 
the track from beginning to end it just goes straight to the end really really quickly when I do that see how fast it is so it doesn't actually give me a playback it just jumps to the position that I'm looking at whereas if I turn smoothing on and I click to the end it will actually play through the track showing you those two quads racing each other so this is quite nice to you know get a feel for what was going on in the race whereas turning smoothing off is useful if you're looking at a particular obstacle on the track so if I want to look for example at how I did this particular part of the track for both quads and I want to go backwards or forwards again having smoothing off is really useful for that type of analysis where you're just looking at the lines and where the quads were in fine detail whereas if you want to watch the race and I should point out this is not in real time when you play a race from beginning to end it's just playing it back at a fixed rate it's not at the speed the quads were flying because this is for analysis and just positions of quads and racing lines it's not to show you a replay of the race in real time so that's what the smoothing does um, you'll also note that you've got a little quad button here so what the quad button does is it switches the camera to follow one or other quad so if I click you can see it's now focused on the orange propped quad and if I click it's now focused on the blue propped quad and if I click again it goes back to the orange propped quad so you can use the quad button here to switch between whichever quad you want to look at and you'll also see that there's a camera button here now what the camera button does is it switches between the follow cam so the follow cam is a camera that follows the quads all around the track so the camera moves following the quads as they move around the track okay but if I go down here and I'll go all the way to this obstacle here if I wanted to freeze my camera so if I just came back a bit and said okay well this is this is quite a nice position here to view this obstacle from I can just click the camera button and you'll see that the camera moves now so now we're running on a fixed camera so if I now move the, the quads it will still track the quads but you'll see that the camera stays in one place so it will allow you to watch the movement of the quads through this obstacle and the only time the camera is going to move is if it feels like the quads are moving out of its field of view so as they move off towards the edge of the screen you can see the camera will track but once they come back more towards the middle the camera will stop tracking and it's only when they start to move out of the field of view of the center of the screen which you'll see on the orange quad which is the one we're tracking at the moment it will now start to move the camera so that's useful for you know just viewing the quads without the camera moving so you can see the lines that are being flown a little bit easier rather than it tracking which is what it's doing now and moving with the quads it's a little harder to see what's going on when the camera is moving with the quads now the other thing that you can do whilst you're looking at a particular or tracking a particular quad when you're using the the camera that moves with the quads so not the fixed camera but the moving camera you can actually sort of scroll in on the um, mouse wheel so you can come in really close if you want to like this and follow really closely or you can scroll back out if you're on the fixed camera and you use the scroll wheel nothing happens but the fixed camera does follow the position of the mobile camera so if I scroll in now like this and then switch to the fixed camera you'll see that my fixed camera is now at the position of the moving camera so you do have the ability to position the fixed camera so you basically you move your camera to where you want it to be so let's, let's just scroll out here and come back here so let's say I wanted to be in really close on this gate to view what's going on I can zoom in like this then switch to the fixed camera like so and now I'm in really close to watch the action here I 
and then when I want to zoom out again, I switch back to the mobile camera and zoom out. So that's analysing myself against my best time. You notice that there is also a lapse thing here. So I turn this on, it will now show lines for all three laps. So we've basically reset and now we've got all three laps here. So I can actually view the entire race end to end. In fact, I if I turn smoothing on and just click at the end, it will now run through the whole race. Show me everything that happened for all three laps. So that's what the little laps checkbox does. Allows you to analyze all three laps rather than just a single lap. Okay. You can see I've turned off smoothing but it's still running and that's because it hasn't actually finished what it was doing. So it's gonna run until it's finished and then once it's finished, smoothing will be off and now we're no longer running in smooth mode again. So I can go all the way back to the start really quickly. Now this is just me analyzing my best time against my previous run time. What I can also do is turn these off like that. And I can say, okay, I want to compare my last run against the fastest quad. So if we click analyze now, and we'll turn off laps and we'll just look at the first lap. So now I'm analyzing my last run that I did against the fastest quad. And we can turn on smooth in here and then just watch what happens. So the green quad is the quad I'm racing. And you can see I've managed to get ahead fairly on, fairly early on, and then maintain that lead throughout the first lap. And there you can see I've finished quite a bit earlier and if we turn on full laps and it's just flying these back to the start now because I've turned on full laps that's so gonna go all the way back to the start like so if I turn off smoothing and kind of go towards the end of the towards the end of the race we can see what happened at the end turn smoothing back on and we can watch the end of the race you can see that I did manage to maintain the lead throughout and finished a little way ahead so that's race analysis function and all of the capabilities of it and it's just a really good tool for analyzing how you're flying how your opponents are flying how you're flying against your best lap uh, and so on and you could analyze um, any number of quads here so you could for example if I go back to race here I could turn on all of the quads here. So now we've got all of them turned on. Click Analyze, turn off laps. So now we're actually looking at all four quads and we can watch them all race. So we've got all four Nemesis and my last run and my best lap all being displayed at once. And we can analyze all of that together if we want to again with all the same functionality that I've already shown. Okay, so that's it, that's race analysis and I hope that's useful.